Hey folks, it's Charles for HumbleMechanic.com. I uh, got the much anticipated cabriolet video for you guys. Um, try to get back as far as I can to give you an overall view. Well, there she is in all her glory. Uh, I don't think the pictures really did justice of what actually happened to it. Let me get a little closer so you guys can see some of the things that are going on with it. All around the side of it, this is all chalk. Apparently the guy spray painted it with that chalkboard spray paint, and then they drew on it with chalk. Um, some of the colors are actually kind of cool. This I kind of dig this spot right up here in the front. Um, here's a quick under the hood view. I just wrapped up doing the clutch in it, and she drives a little bit better, although I think I ran it out of gas. So I will have to address that in the morning. Uh, it's like 9 o'clock tonight, so I'm, I'm over it, ready to go home. Um, let me get you guys a quick shot of the inside. Here's the uh, four light front end, which is cool. It looks like they tried to do the bumpers in chalk too, but that didn't go so well for them. And I'm kind of thankful for it. The outside's actually not that bad. It's when we get into the inside that my heart is kind of broken. Um, especially when you get and look at the door panels and that cool texture on the door panel and then they did that to the handle. Uh, let's see how well that'll close up. It looks like it's some sort of tape with paint and then a paper mache type glue over it. So hopefully I can get all of that off. Uh, there's the door pocket. The door pocket is actually kind of cool, other than the end of it. Uh, they gutted the interior. Get some light on here. So there's no carpet, no padding. Um, the carpet and padding were actually in really great shape, so I'm kind of bummed that they did that too. Uh, same thing with the seats. You got this madness all up both the driver and the passenger seat. Um, Apparently the seat doesn't unlatch. There's the sweet AstroTurf that they added in as part of the uh, project, I guess. I think it was some kind of charity event that they actually did. Um, here's a steering wheel. The cluster. It's got 158,803 miles. Uh, here's some sweet dash lights that the guy added in because the cluster lights don't light up. Um, to most people, honestly, the most valuable thing is probably the Alpine radio. But uh, you car geeks know that this car's got some cool potential to it. Um, the dashboard is actually in really great shape. There's a little crack right there and a little crack over on this side, right there. Um, Nothing too major, in really good shape for a 25-year-old car. Pan around to the side. Here's the passenger door, door pocket. The seats are in good shape. They're a little dirty, but nothing that won't clean up. Um, more AstroTurf around the mirror. I don't know what the heck they were thinking with the AstroTurf. Uh, here's the visor. There's a bird carrying something. Uh, what else do we got? The other visor. Scroll around here to the back. They did that same paper mache stuff all up those pillars along the back seat, which is kind of bumming me out. More AstroTurf. More junk on the sides. Um, all in all, a pretty cool project. I think it's going to take some work. Um, this chalk stuff does scrape off. You can see it kind of up close. It'll scrape off a little bit, but it leaves the paint kind of nasty. Um, I got a couple tricks that I'm going to try, and I'll shoot videos for you guys so you can see some of the things that I do and see if it works or see if I just make a fool out of myself trying to restore this. Um, the top is in pretty good shape, too. There's a few weird spots. One right there you can see, and a little bit over here, a little bit there. I'm going to try before I replace it to use some of the those uh, fancy top 
repair kits and see if they actually do anything or if it's just a gimmick or or what the deal is with it um but that's her what do you guys think i'm i'm pretty excited about it i feel like i'm a little bit in over my head right now but uh once things start getting rolling i think it'll be a really cool project um, if you guys have any suggestions or questions comments go ahead and post them in the comment section and uh Let's get some ideas flowing on what we can name this project. I still haven't decided on a name yet, but uh, I want to get her named before I start get rolling on it. Um, I don't know, something about not naming a project seems kind of bad luck to me. But uh, with that, this has been Charles for HumbleMechanic.com. Thanks.